Hi Keto fam, welcome back to my channel. I've got a food haul for you today. As you can see, I'm all laid out and ready to go. So this is um, shop number one this week. Um, what I've been doing is kind of just buying little bits twice, once or twice in the week, just so we can keep things fresh. And I've already explained before that um, I'm kind of a knee jerk eater, so I can plan meals for the week, but by the time it gets to Thursday and I've got something planned, I'm like, man, I don't want that, I want something else. So we tend to kind of get two to three days max and then go back to the supermarket for more. So I'm going to show you what, what I got and just kind of, as usual, tell you what we do with what we got. So I'll start down this end, I got four packs of grated mozzarella and I use this to make my focaccia and I'll leave the recipe in the link below. This is the best type of mozzarella to get, even though there is a little bit of, um, I think it's um, cornstarch in it, it's a tiny amount and, and this melts really well. I got mushrooms, normally I get whole mushrooms but I am so lazy, I saw these and I thought, Ooh, I'm going to get these instead. So they're just sliced mushrooms. I've got bacon pieces. These are smoked um, and we'll use them for kind of um, sauces and stuff like that. Got some mortadella and some really nice. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is cooked ham, but it's actually roasted rather than cooked with Mediterranean herbs. I don't know if you can see those herbs in there, but this is really delicious. I got some bacon. This is the, again, the French British style bacon and it's just got salt. And this, I prefer this than the really thin crispy one. I got a big tub of mascarpone. This is 500 grams and this one is actually much lower in carbs. This one is 2.5 grams per 100 grams. Okay, so um, the other one, the Galbani one, which is this... Um, brand here it's actually got 4.4 grams of carbs per 100 grams so that's why i get this one and you can't get it in smaller size tubs than this 500 grams i got double cream for mr keto this is from gruyere which is quite close by in switzerland and um, this is like you can slice this cream it's so thick and then onto the meat i got this piece of veal that we're going to roast so it's already packed up ready to go um, so I'd say what will happen is we will do it in herbs, maybe wrap some of the tin bacon around it. I don't know, usually Mr. Keto sorts this out. And this is probably going to be cooked on the spit because we have a, our oven has a spit in it. So um, we'll cook it on the spit. I've got pieces of chicken to do me for the week uh, at lunchtime. These are just the, the small um, fillets. I've got lots of steak. I've got these um, four faux filets, so they are um, kind of fake fillets almost is, is, is what it translates it as. Um, so I've got four, so myself, Mr. Keto and the Keto Kid, we'll have ones for dinner and then I'll probably have one for maybe for breakfast the next day. Um, so I'm Pellegrino, I didn't buy, it's part of that six pack. Um, this is fresh cream. Now it says creme fraiche and it's not creme fraiche here in France. is isn't the same creme fraiche that you know. It's a different thing. This is actually, you can hear it. This is just liquid cream. And I got sausage meat because I'm going to make a stuffing to go with this. So I'm going to make like a proper roast dinner with stuffing. And I base my stuffing on um, sausage meat. So I'll have sausage meat and herbs and spices and stuff in it. Um, and that's why I bought that two bars of lint 90% chocolate. I've got myself a mozzarella, a buffalo mozzarella, um, Italian, because I found these in the supermarket. These are tomatoes from Sicily and they look amazing. So I'm actually going to have tomato mozzarella salad with olive oil um, oregano and um, some balsamic vinegar. Now, normally I have it with um, basil during the summer, fresh basil, but obviously it's winter here, so salads are not really supposed to be eaten. So I'm going to use the dried oregano we have, and the, the dried oregano is actually Sicilian as well. It's really, really delicious. It smells like pizza. Happy days. So a celeriac, we mash this um, and put it in the blender with 
butter, cream, nutmeg, and salt, and it's delicious. It, it tastes um, slightly um, um, bitter. I think is probably the right word. It's it's a radish. It's it the radish family, so you know the kind of taste that it gets. But actually, the texture is exactly like mashed potato. It's fantastic. Got some nice fresh um, Peruvian asparagus. Couldn't find any local asparagus because it's not the time of year. So this comes from, you can see it on the bottom, from Peru. Got some fennel for Mr. Quito. He likes the um, to eat the fennel like a salad. And what we do is when we make a broth, we cut these bits, these top bits, stocky bits off the, the fennel. Um, because this is like the her herb fennel, like this is what it is when it's fresh and we will put that into the broth and it's delicious. And of course it wouldn't be one of my hauls without a lot of eggs, so 24 eggs.